Hey everybody, it's the Ancient Meddler, and I've got a little story to tell about a situation that I'm having and some other people are having with uh, somebody on YouTube. So what's going on is there's a lot of us that are writers that write stories and publish them on the internet, and we publish them on other sites as text stories, and they're copyrighted, and you know we don't get paid for that. The, most of the places where you write stories and you post them, um, there's no monetization. You just do it. And people come there and they read the stories. And I've had my stories read by hundreds of thousands of people and never got a dime. It's just, that's just the way it is. It, it, uh, it sucks, but that's the way it is. If I had done the same amount of effort and put, put forth videos on YouTube and had that many people watching my videos and reacting to them or or whatever they're doing with them reacting to it or watching them anything you know then i would be getting compensated i'd have been making i would have been making a nice little bit of money on those stories um so <laughs> come to find out i get contacted a few days ago by another author who says yo dude i found some of your stories on youtube and i thought what well, how did you find my stories on YouTube? It's, it's, it's a story. This is a video. And then he sent me a link to it and I went and checked it out. And sure enough, it's my story that I wrote several years back being played. And there's a video and the video is some kind of canned video of like girls wandering around Spain and, scenery of Spain with some kind of generic music playing in the background that's probably stolen as well. And a, a computer AI voice reading my story. And every story there, it's the same computer generated AI voice that you hear in a lot of videos. It's the, it's the same generic AI voice. And, and uh, word for word, verbatim, my story. And <laughs> And I look in the comment section of this of the video, and in the comment section it says, "Original story." I I can't remember the exact words, but it says something like, the, "His version of it was inspired by my story with my name on it." So he even admits he's using my story, and so he he says inspired inspired by. So since when does inspire mean? you read the story word for word verbatim. That's not inspiring, that's called plagiarism, that's called copyright violation, that's called stealing. So I filed a, a, a takedown request with YouTube yesterday on the guy to have my, my video, the video of my story taken down. And it's been 24 hours and it's still up. And so I was talking to the guy who told me about it he also filed a takedown request with YouTube and he said within 24 hours, they took the video down. But then the guy filed a counter counterclaim saying that he had the rights to, to use the, the story, which he didn't. And, and YouTube put the video back up. So it's still there. So the guy still has these, these audio recordings of his story and my story running and they're monetized. So, so to add insult to injury, not only is he stealing our stories and putting them on YouTube, YouTube's paying him money to do it. YouTube is paying him, rewarding him for stealing. So I, I don't know what's going to happen. YouTube may get mad at me for posting this video and make me take it down. I don't know. I'm going to see what happens with the claim and see if they take it down and see if it stays down. We're also contacting lawyers. Uh, we know where the guy is. We know what country he's in because he's been in correspondence with the other author and, and was laughing about it saying, I'm in this country. Good luck doing anything about it. Um, knowing full well that in order to do anything, we have to have a lawyer in that country go after him. And so, well, guess what? We are and we do. We, ha we have contracted with a lawyer in that country. We have a lawyer here and a lawyer there, and they're working together, and we're going to go after this guy. Now, I don't know what's going to happen, but that's the situation that we're in. And I hate to bring it up, and I hate to talk about it, but 
I'm going to use this forum to talk about it. And so I'm not saying who the guy is right now. I'm not bringing his name up. I'm not going after him that way publicly. But if it doesn't stop, I will. If it doesn't, if it doesn't stop, I'm going to go after this guy and I'll tell everybody who he is and where his, what his channel is and everything. And you can go on his channel and you can see he has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these stories. All of them with the same AI voice, all of them in English, and the guy is not an English speaker and he doesn't write English well and there's no way he wrote these stories. And all he's doing is he's going out to websites where people post their stories. He's mining those stories in text, running it through an AI text-to-speech thing that, that says the words, records that on a video with the exact same imagery on every one of his videos, and then posts it as original content. So it sucks. Uh, that's where I'm at. And uh, I don't know. So let me know what you think about that. If you have comments, please please write your comments in in here. Um, yeah, it's annoying. It's just annoying. If you want to, if you want to do so, oh, but the good thing is it it has inspired me to do the same thing. So I and I don't know why I hadn't thought about this before, but I'm going to take my original fiction, my original stories, and I'm going to start reading them on YouTube and, and doing that. So I, I like to read and do voice stuff and all that. And, uh, so it's a good form for me. I used to do that. I would, I've read the stories in other formats before on, on other platforms. So why not do it here? So that's what I'll do. I'm going to start doing them here and some of them I won't do here. Uh, they're a little off topic. So, but, but the ones that I can do here, I will. Other ones I'll do on Patreon and uh, maybe on Rumble or something like that. Did I? Is it okay to say that? Anyway, so YouTube may get mad at me and may may make me take this down, but as it is right now, that's what that's what's happening. So I'm gonna start doing that, and I'm gonna start working on one of them maybe tonight and see what we can do. Uh, anyway, it's just ridiculous how greedy people are and how how corrupt some of these things are. It's just nonsense, and I so. The other thing is, I don't understand why YouTube doesn't have mechanisms in place to, to safeguard this and why they don't take it more seriously. If this were a, a song, like like the problem Ren's having right with, with Cujo, if this were music or a movie or a TV show that somebody was doing this with, he'd be shut down in a heartbeat. He would be completely shut down. But because it's text stories, it's like they don't know what to do. They don't know how to handle it. All they have to do, all YouTube has to do, YouTube has a lot of resources and a lot of power and they're, they're owned by Google and they have access to Google search and Google AI and all that. All they've got to do is take these audio recordings, which are words, speech, run that through a speech to text um, processor, get the text, te check that test, that text against the internet for plagiarism that's what i do that's how i find when people steal my stories is i actually take blocks of my text and i search for that and when it comes up and you get hits you see someone's stolen my story but i can't do that when i have when he does it in audio format like that because it doesn't work but youtube can do that they can just basically run all of his stories through some some script some algorithm have it search the internet for that. That's what they do with audio. They can, they instantly, instantly can detect if a movie or TV or video or audio is duplicated from somebody's copyrighted material. They can, they do it instant. When I upload a video, it runs checks and it only takes a couple of minutes for a huge video for them to check to see if this is copyrighted material because it knows there's a fingerprint. It does it. So there's no reason why YouTube can't do this for for written stories to protect authors from this kind of copyright violation. So they need to do that. If they're not doing it already, they need to start doing it. And the fact that they put the guy's story back up after he sh he proved to them that it was his and they put it back up is ridiculous. Anyway, I'm I'm through ranting and through raving, but anyway, When, it, when I first heard about it, I thought, 
oh, that's kind of weird. You know, like, I didn't think it was a big deal. You know, I, I never made any money from these stories. It wasn't monetized in any way for me. And so, and then I've seen, wait a minute, this guy's making a freaking fortune. He's got thousands of these stories and thousands, he's got 20 times as many followers as I have. And, and each one of these each one of these stories, like my story, has more views than any of my videos. And he's getting paid for that. 100% going to him. It was ridiculous. I think my net earnings on YouTube are like $4. Net. Total. Gross. What is that? Gross. Yeah, gross earnings from, from Netflix are like 4 bucks, right? for my videos because I can't monetize anything and, and I don't care. I, I didn't make my videos to monetize them anyway, but that's just, that's just the comparison, right? Here I am doing this stuff and not making a dime. And this guy's taking my effort, my work, and he's out there rolling in the bucks, not just from my story. Of course, he's not getting rolling in the bucks from my story, but he's getting rolling in the bucks because he's stealing a ton of people. And it's probably not one guy. It's probably some kind of syndicate or something or like a room full of guys that are just doing this or it's algorithms or it's programs or they've got server farm doing this where they're just churning these things out. And you look, he puts out tons of them and it's only been in the last seven months and he's got thousands of these things. So, and it's definitely a money making criminal scheme. And I don't know if YouTube can't see that and can't do something about it, then there's something wrong with YouTube. Anyway, I'm done. I'm going to go have a drink and relax, but we'll talk to you guys next time. So please let me know in the comments what you think about this situation. Um, and if you want to spread the word and get this out to more people, please like the video. That'll help get it out there. And then uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, that's fine too. I don't care. We'll talk to you guys next time. See ya. And next time I'll try to actually do some music video instead of me ranting and raving.